I'm here with the M170 chamber. Before we actually connect the LN2 coolant to the chamber, we should talk a bit about the cryogenic exhaust and the chamber's exhaust tube. There are two main concerns with the cryogenic exhaust. The first is extreme temperatures, and the second is nitrogen gas. Extreme temperatures are pretty easy to understand. The exhaust coming out of your chamber's exhaust tube can be as hot or cold as the temperature rating as shown on the equipment nameplate. Whether your chamber exhausts freely or is connected to an exhaust line, you must be aware of the extreme temperatures that are present. The second exhaust concern is nitrogen gas. Nitrogen is an inert gas. Roughly 78% of the air we breathe is nitrogen. The concern with nitrogen gas is that large volumes can force the oxygen out of the air and this in turn can create an asphyxiation hazard. You should check with your organization's facility personnel to verify that the area where your chamber operates is well vented. Generally, large rooms and manufacturing floors are fine. It is more likely to be an issue with smaller rooms and labs. Your facility's personnel may determine that using an oxygen sensor is a good idea and good practice. If you need to connect any sort of exhaust line or facility exhaust system to the exhaust tube, make sure that the connections are rated for the temperature range of the equipment and make sure that these connections do not restrict the exhaust. Restricting the exhaust can lead to a back pressure and a degradation of performance in your thermal chamber.